Hello and welcome to another ATN tutorial. Uh, in this video, I'm going to go over the basics and touch a little bit on the shortcut carousel on the Binox 4K, your Smart HD day night uh, binoculars with built in laser rangefinder. So to start off, when you get the device, you need to fully charge it. Uh, here on the right, on the right side, uh, you're going to see this uh, rubber cover seal. So you just uh, pop it up and you'll see a USB Type C port. For charging the binoculars do come with a usb type c cable um, but not a 2 amp usb wall charger uh, but usually every household has one of those leading around so you can use one of those uh, charging time from zero to 100 percent is about six hours and the, the battery run time is 15 hours on a single charge you've also got here a micro sd port um, for storing videos uh, your, in your pic pictures from the binoculars and also updating firmware. We do recommend a class 10 uh, HC type SD card, somewhere between four and 64 gigabytes uh, for these particular binoculars. Now um, here as well, you've got your uh, focus ring. You can focus to various distances. On the left lens here, you've got your built-in laser rangefinder and IR illuminator. In the back, you've got the diopter adjustment. So uh, you need to turn these knobs to focus to your particular eyesight. Uh, just look in the screen. Um, you can see, look, at, look at the different widgets. And so just kind of turn it to uh, get optimal sharpness for your, for your particular vision. Uh, once you set these, um, they don't need to be changed uh, for you anymore. Uh, only if somebody else uh, uses the binoculars and says set for their particular eyesight. Otherwise, you don't really need to adjust these anymore. Um, this also has a interpupillary adjustment. These, these move in and out to be set to the distance between your eyes. And now for the keypads. Um, to turning on the binoculars, just one press of uh, the power button here will turn on the binoculars. And once the binoculars are on and you want to power them off, uh, this button needs to be pressed and held for about two seconds. And you will get a prompt message uh, in the screen to turn, off, to turn them off. Uh, while you're in the in the viewfinder, uh, these buttons work as up and down. It's uh, zooming in and out um, in the image. The right button is to start stop video recording. The left button is to take a photo, and the center button is to confirm uh, an action while you're in the menu or when you're in the viewfinder. Uh, you need to press and hold this button twice to get into the the shortcut carousel. But I'll show you the shortcut carousel in, in a moment. Um, also keep note that um, while you, the binoculars are turned on and you're in the viewfinder, a short press of the power button will activate the laser rangefinder. Now in the back here, you also have a quarter 20 mounting thread to attach it to a tripod, for example, if you need some kind of really stable video. Now when you do receive the binoculars, um, you will need to do a compass calibration. Uh, when you look into the viewfinder in the top middle of the screen, you'll most likely see the word cal up here. This means you need to calibrate uh, with the electronic compass. And to calibrate the binoculars, you need to hold them parallel to the ground and uh, spin, spin the device in its three axes. So you're gonna spin it once like this, once like this, and once just like that. And that should get the electronic compass going. Now, the first thing you'll see after turning on the device is the home screen. Uh, it consists of scales, status bar icons, and different information widgets. Um, up top, you've got your uh, electronic compass. Uh, top right, you've got your zoom level and um, status bar icons like battery life, uh, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, maybe a memory card as well. And um, on the sides, you've got your tilt and cant. Now, uh, I'm going to go over the shortcut carousel menu. Uh, to get into that, you're going to press the center button on the binocular keypad. You just press and hold it for about two seconds, and you will see the shortcut carousel. Um, the shortcut carousel has two modes of operation, basic and advanced. So in basic mode, uh, it just removes some of the shortcuts from the carousel for easy access to different features that you might use. Um, so in the basic mode, you've got your system settings, uh, advanced shortcut, night mode, uh, and back to system settings. So if you want that to get advanced, you just kind of get to this advanced shortcut icon and you press the, the center button to activate it. 
So there we go, we're in advanced mode. And now we'll go over the features in advanced. We got your night mode, uh, close shortcuts, system settings, Wi-Fi, gallery, environment, and we're back to advanced, short, advanced shortcuts. So this is it, the, the basics of um, the Binox 4K. Uh, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.